Hi, my name is Ethan, and I'm from sunny Central Florida. You're watching Trucker Josh and Diesel on the best channel on YouTube, TJV. Enjoy. Welcome to the Trucker Josh vlog page, where you can follow me and my best friend Diesel day by day as we travel across all of Canada and the United States. This is real reality TV coming at you on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button and follow our journey. Good morning, everybody. Oh, another new day has arrived, and we're here exactly where we went to sleep. We're at the, what is this, uh, Simonson, Simonson, si Samson, Simonson, Truck Travel Center thing in Grand Forks. <laughs> the north side of Grand Forks, North Dakota. Diesel, are you ready for a new day or what? Here, I'm ready, man. Look at me. Look at me. I am stunning. You do look pretty good, Diesel. Good job, good job. So uh, I wanna get all the way to my destination today or as close as I possibly can. Uh, we gotta to deliver to Appleton, Wisconsin tomorrow morning. That's 950 kilometers from here, probably about 600, a little under 600 miles. So I should be able to get there if we don't have any problems. If not, we can get as close as we can and we'll get there in the morning tomorrow. We'll go a little ways tomorrow, that's fine. Oh, it's gonna be a good day. Look at this beautiful weather out here. I woke up itchy today. Itchy, itchy, check this out. I know you probably don't want to see this, but. Right there. That's my poison ivy. Ugh. So I'm not gonna be going to the gym today. I was excited to sort of stop at the gym on my way to Wisconsin, but uh, that won't be happening. I don't think everyone else in there would appreciate me going and using the equipment with poison ivy all over my arms. It's bad enough that you go in there and you get sweat all over everything and you gotta wipe it off and sanitize it. But poison ivy, I think that's crossing a line. So maybe Diesel and I will stop and go for a walk or something just to get the heart pumping later. And It's a nice day, so maybe we'll go and enjoy the weather. We'll have to see. For now, I'm gonna run inside here. I'm gonna grab a coffee. I'm gonna walk the weasel. I'm gonna get the show on the road. <laughs> you can see it more here now. Since that calamine lotion makes it look worse than it is. Got some on, some on my side here too, but we'll be okay. We'll be okay. This lotion works really good. Takes all the itch away. Just gotta let it breathe now and take her easy today. Okay, we're done our freight trip. We are ready to rock and roll. Got our breakfast. Got our milk. I don't know if that has to do anything, but we got milk. Let's go. You ready, Diesel? Is that sweater gonna stay there? I don't think so. I'm gonna take it down just in case. Yeah, I don't want that to fall in your water. There you go, that's a clean sweater so that once my poison ivy heals, I have a clean sweater to wear so that, yeah, I don't get it again. <laughs> in case I can't wash my other sweater right away. And off onto the interstate. We have a National Guard storage facility or something there just off to our right. I guess we just missed it. Lots of military vehicles parked out there right by the freeway for everyone to see. Just to remind you, you know, America. In case you forgot where you were. <laughs> so this should take the majority of the day to get there. I'm expecting to get there around uh, 10 o'clock tonight. We'll see. I'll unload in the morning, probably around 8 a.m. And I have no idea what they got planned for me yet after that, no idea. So once again, sort of like the other week, I don't want to get there too, too early because Monday morning, they're gonna to have to have time to get into the office, get settled in, get the gears turning, it's a Monday morning, and then they gotta find me a load yet. So if I show up at my delivery too early, my e-log will be clicking away while they're still getting settled in and not even looking for a load for me yet, right? And that's fine. It's Monday, I understand that. So if I, they get in at eight. So if I get there at about 
I'll be unloaded by nine. That'll give them an hour to settle in and figure out what's going on. And I send them the message that I'm empty and I shouldn't have to wait long for a reload then. I always sort of got to time it around when they get to the office. Otherwise, cause I could probably deliver at seven in the morning. Oh, I almost hit that bird. Yikes. I could deliver at seven in the morning, but they don't get in till eight and won't find me alone till about nine anyway. So then I'm just sitting there for two hours wasting my e-log hours. I'm gonna stop in here at the Blue Beacon. There's that Space Aliens restaurant. Just over to the right. Over there. You see it? I always wanted to go in there and eat. <laughs> it says, Earthlings welcome. I want to go see what kind of food they got in there. By the looks of the paintings on the side of the building, looks like they serve pizza. Space Aliens Grill and Bar. Oh, so it's a bar. Oh, okay. Petro Pass, or not Petro Pass, Petro Stopping Centers in the US here is right off to my left. So I could always stop there for night once and walk over here and have dinner. Or even just for lunch. Why do you need to take your corner wide there, buddy? I don't get that. All right, hopefully there's not too long of a lineup at the truck wash. Gotta get this truck washed. It's been too long again. I always wait a little bit too long should be washing I'd love to wash it every week but these washes usually cost me about 75 bucks so, and some might say 75 bucks a week is a small price to pay to have a clean truck and get all that salt and grime off of there you know but, uh, there's a little bit of a lineup not too bad they got two bays here so it goes pretty quickly got one two three four people in front of me plus the people in the wash so with five trucks in front of me so there are the doors over there, two of them. I think the guy on the left is gonna go in first and I'll probably go in behind him. I'm just waiting to see which one moves first. Got a few people waiting behind me. Got a big RV truck over there. Other than that, we're just dealing with the poison ivy. I was just talking to my cousin, Will, and uh, he does, he got the same thing. He gets poison ivy, he says like seven times a year and uh, doing the same thing I did, going into his bush pulling out trees and transplanting them into his front yard and along his driveway because uh, why pay for these expensive trees at a, at a greenhouse when you have property with bush on it and you have perfectly good trees growing right there all you got to do is just dig them up and move them to where you want them and it's free almost this is the price <laughs> poison ivy he gets it really bad in his bush there's a lot of poison ivy it's actually in the roots the the plants hadn't actually grown yet but the roots are like a hundred times more potent than the leaves on poison ivy so if you go in there and you you pick up these little trees and you put your hands and arms under the dirt and lift it up there's obviously some roots of poison ivy in there and uh got all over me it looks pretty ugly right now right but it's getting better. This calamine lotion really helps. It really works really well. Oh, this guy's moving now. I better better move the truck. Here, one sec. Let me put you down. Let me put you down. Okay. Move up here. It'd be nice to have a clean truck. I think it's a good day to wash the truck. I don't think it's gonna rain. It's always a pain when you pay $75 to get your truck washed and then it rains right away. Washes aren't cheap. But they do do a good job for the most part. So you go in here, they have like six, seven or eight guys, I think it's what, six, three on each side, that all attack your truck with, with uh, what do you call those things, the water wands? They all attack your truck anyways and all clean it off for you. And you're usually in and out of here. Once you get in there, it's like 10 minutes usually and they have your truck cleaned, 15. The longest wait you have here is waiting out here in line. <laughs> Feels good to get a bath. 
or to have a bath. I guess you don't really get baths, you have baths. It's nice to have a bath. <laughs> uh, yep, that's me. So let's get out of here, let's get back on the interstate and continue our journey to Wisconsin. Diesel, you wanna see some cows, don't you? Yeah, man, Wisconsin's the place for that. What are these guys doing here? How do I get out of here again? I forget. I always forget how to get out of here. I don't know why this guy's parked so weird. Why are you parked like that, like jackknifed in the driveway? It's this guy walking in there that parked his truck like that. That's weird. Oh well. I'm out of here. I think it's past the scale here. This is the way out. It's not really clearly marked, and if you don't come here regularly, it might be a little difficult to find your way out of the parking lot. Here we go. Thank you for your business. You're welcome. So just a basic truck wash and engine wash cost me $63.50 American, which translates to just over $85 Canadian. Whew, that exchange rate is not so good right now. Take ramp on right to I 94 East. That's what I'm doing, Mandy. Look, I'm in the turn lane. Got my signal on and everything. Stop telling me how to live my life. Let me get back on to Interstate 94 eastbound. And we'll be in Minnesota right away. We're pretty much right on the border of Minnesota. Still in North Dakota right now, though. Just pulling into St. Cloud, Minnesota here. The pilot flying J. I'm gonna turn left on clear water road. Fuel her up. We're gonna get some fuel here first, man. Come on. This pilot is usually not quite as busy as the one on the other side of Minneapolis, St. Paul, in Roberts. I don't like going to that Roberts, Wisconsin flying J anymore. It's way too busy. So instead, I come here. That's a bit of an older one. Needs a little bit of updating, but has everything you need. Not a lot of parking here, though. Uh, it's good just to quickly come in, get fuel, and go. Grab a coffee and hit the road. Only half their pumps have DEF at the pump, though. We've already gone through Wausau, Wisconsin, and I just turned on to US 10. And this is supposed to take me to Appleton, apparently. Not sure exactly where I am. I don't come through this part of Wisconsin that often. There's a quick trip over there. I don't know where I'm gonna spend the night either. I kinda like Wisconsin, because most of Wisconsin's off the beaten path for, for me and a lot of the traffic going through, right? Because most through traffic, like I said last time, sort of goes on Interstate 94 on the west side of the state. And all the way in here, the only real reason people are here is because they live here. Or if you're just delivering freight, getting in, getting out real quick. Not a, not a lot of people just passing through. Not compared to other areas where the interstate goes through, right? You know what I mean? Oh. I sort of feel at home in Wisconsin. It's got a lot of bush. I guess it's got the northern climate that I'm used to. People around here apparently have somewhat the same accent as me. I don't know if that's true or not, but people, when I go down south, a lot of times I get mistaken for being from Wisconsin. Either that or Minnesota, one of the two. But... Nope. Just your friend in Canuck here, actually from Canada. I know, we're pretty much exactly the same. But... Where am I gonna spend the night? I have no idea where I am. There's an Applebee's, great restaurant, but I need to go to Appleton, Wisconsin. We were at Applebee's this past week, me and Britt, when we went to Winnipeg to run those errands and stuff. We went to Applebee's. Really good food. I still don't know what town we're in. No idea. No signs, no nothing. Wisconsin, that's all I know. US Highway 10.
and we're just outside Appleton, Wisconsin. This is the very next morning. Found a little truck stop here. I believe this is Fremont, Wisconsin. Let's go deliver our freight real quick, and then we'll say goodbye. We'll start tomorrow's vlog. I had a good sleep here. My poison ivy got a little worse yesterday, but I took some Benadryl before going to bed yesterday, which is like an allergy medication, because that's what poison ivy is. It's, a, it's an allergy, uh, allergic reaction. It actually helped quite a bit, so I'm feeling better today. Today will be another bit of an itchy day, and hopefully by tonight, we'll be almost over it. We'll see. So I use a, an app called Trucker Path. Do any of you use that? That's how I found this truck stop. It's really great. Uh, you know, I don't know the, the, the makers of it, and I'm not getting paid by them or anything, but I would definitely recommend it. Uh, it tells you where all the truck stops are, uh, where, the, where the scales are. Every time you go past there, you can update it so that other drivers know if there's parking spots available there or if the scale is open or closed. And people do update it quite often. It's actually quite impressive. Usually you can tell ahead of time if there's parking or if the scale's open. So I checked out this place and it said there was lots of parking and someone had updated it like three minutes before I checked. So I pulled in and sure enough, lots of spots. And now we're just like 15 miles down the road from our delivery. Still haven't got word of a reload yet. sent it to me I guess it didn't go through because I didn't have it yet and I was there unloaded just arriving to my delivery or well I just got in there a little while ago waiting for them to unload me and then they said oh when are you gonna be in Fort Francis Fort Francis what's in Fort Francis so they sent me the load offer through again to my computer here I guess my computer didn't receive it during the night because it turns off for the night then it doesn't get anything right so I'm picking up a load in uh, Delavan, Wisconsin that's going to Fort Francis, Ontario. It's, it's about a full day's drive. Uh, but I have to be there for tomorrow morning. They asked me when I would be there. I told them tomorrow morning, so it's not like they're forcing me to rush. I'm just choosing to rush. So I delivered that lumber. I wasn't able to uh, take you guys along with me there because I'm in, like I said, a little more of a rush than I was expecting. So I do have an empty flatbed behind me right now and we're leaving Appleton, Wisconsin, headed south toward Delavan. I really like Wisconsin. Have I told you that already? I like this state. I feel comfortable here. I feel at home here. If I ever had to move to Wisconsin, I wouldn't complain. So we're on Interstate 41 South now and uh, I guess we'll continue this tomorrow, to be continued. I was hoping to uh, include a little bit more excitement of the unloading process for you today, but sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. I have to get there, it's two hours away. I have to get loaded, tied down, and get nine hours back north towards Ontario. So, no taking our time today. So this vlog will be continued tomorrow. To, to make sure you don't miss it, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I make a new video every day, sort of like a journal of my life. You can follow my life day by day. I drive truck across all of North America, mostly across Western Canada and Ontario and the Midwest of the US right now. But 
you know, I've been doing this for a while. I used to be down in the south more often on the east coast, and I miss it there in New England. And even New England, did you hear that? That just came out of my mouth. I even miss New England. That's not a fun place to drive through, and if I miss it, that means I haven't been there in a long time. This van in front of me has not yet discovered God's gift to humanity called cruise control. I'm just gonna go around you then, but of course then you speed up. All right, let's continue this tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe, everybody. Subscribe to my channel, Trucker Josh Vlogs, on YouTube. I'll see you then.